What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on our 2015-2016 uh, uh, Dallas Stars season preview. It's been a long night, um, and what to expect from you know this new look kind of revamped team in uh, in 2015-2016. Obviously, uh, fell short of expectations last year after returning to the playoffs and. Uh, in 2014, you know, got an amazing year out of Tyler Sagan. Probably would have been an MVP for him had he not gotten hurt. Um, and they had played Dimitri Kulikov. They did have, uh, you know, the league scoring champion, Jamie Benn, who, who was, you know, lights out down the stretch. And, you know, unfortunately for the team, it was too little too late, but it gives you something to build on uh, for next year, for this you know, this upcoming year. Uh, ben had hip surgery this offseason, so, you know, we'll see what happens um, with that. Uh, for for Jamie, uh, according to, to Jim Mill, he's on schedule and uh, you know could yeah, there, there shouldn't be any issues with him getting back out there and uh, you know helping the team. And he, he's one of the most important pieces of any team um, in the NHL and uh, realistically should be ready to go uh, open tonight. Alice Hemsky uh, also coming off surgery and Hemsky had a disappointing first year in Dallas, so you know having him uh, you know back would be. Uh, you know, another advantage. Uh, Valerie Nikushkin, uh, had him, you know, was impressed with the rookie. Hurt almost all last year. If he's healthy, that's even more firepower. I mean, I liked what, I liked the, the flash Nikushkin showed. I met him at the draft in 2015. Nice kid. Um, so, you know, that's something to uh, keep an eye on. You look at the acquisitions that went out and made. You know, Patrick Schott, bring him over. Uh, you know, he's got a championship pedigree. He can help this team in a number of ways. He's one of the more versatile forwards in the NHL as well. You can play him really any, at any position in, in, anywhere in the lineup, and, uh, you know, he can do some great things for you and definitely help you win hockey games. Obviously, a big part of the Blackhawks' success. A uh, fellow member of the Blackhawks, Johnny Oduya, came over as well. Oduya signing as a free agent with the Stars, and, you know, he's been. One of the most underrated, underappreciated guys, you know, during the Blackhawks, you know, run of success, you know, kind of going out there and doing all the little things night in, night out, and, you know, he, he really seems to be a great guy in the locker room, you know, guy that guys want to play with, and, uh, you know, can step up and then play really well in big moments as well, and again, having that, uh, that pedigree there, that's, you know, been there, done that, you know, won two Stanley Cups in Chicago, and, you know, been an integral part of, you know, one of the most successful franchises of hockey in the last two years. Uh, that's what do it for you. So you add him, you add Sharp, and it's like, all right, you know, let's let's go get this thing. I think Dallas has a very, very good chance of returning to the playoffs in uh, in 2016. But the goaltending situation scares the ever living shit out of me. I've never been a Carey Lightning guy, even going back to his days in Atlanta. He just doesn't do it for me. It's like, all right. Um, and you know, you, you look at uh, Anthony Niemi. Similar. You know, kind of mediocre goalie. I mean, I don't want a cup in Chicago. It's like a Blackhawks reunion in Dallas. Uh, but you look at the whole thing, it's like, this. you get two mediocre goalies. You know, they're going to split and push each other, but, you know, he, the buys from set kind of low. So, you know, I wish they had maybe tried to revisit that position, you know, using anywhere other than, than going in any direction other than Anthony Niemi. But, you know, we'll see how that all works. I mean, the D is going to be better. I think, you know, if Sagan and uh, Jamie Benn, those guys are all healthy. They'll have the puck a lot. The offense is on, so make the occasional stop with the D moving out. That's something to keep an eye on. Um, another thing I really like is that I, I think John Klingberg is really going to break out this year. I mean, he showed what he can do last year as a rookie. I think this team has, you know, been revamped to a situation where he's in a position to put up even more numbers. Um, and I think that's going to be fun to watch. I enjoy watching what he can do back there. I think, you know, this kind of East Coast bias with young defensemen. Not a lot of people know who this kid is. And uh, he is very, very good. He's very much worth watching. Any chance you, uh, you can get to put a, put a Stars game on, you know, you're going to notice what he's doing, you know, just in all facets of the game. And that's, uh, you know, really important for you know, a team like the uh, Stars that wants to go back to the playoffs in a crowded Western Conference. So, you know, end of the day, I think they're going to have a lot of offensive firepower. D is going to be better than it was last year. And the goaltending will be disappointing. But do their other areas of strength offset the weakness in that? That's going to be, that's going to be what remains to be seen um, you know, with the squad. So, again, a lot of question marks, but definitely a team worth watching throughout the 2015-2016 season. 
Anyway, that's my episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the offseason.